Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Almost 200 Tesla Megapack batteries spotted in Lathrop Megafactory. Tesla Semi spotted transporting the Cybertruck for the first time. Tesla shows off its extreme weather testing activities close to the Arctic Circle. And purported Tesla Model 3 Highland interior parts leak online. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Nearly 200 Tesla Megapack batteries were recently sighted at the Electric Vehicle Makers Megafactory facility in Lathrop, California. The sighting of the Megapack suggests that the Electric Vehicle Makers production of the grid-scale batteries is being ramped. Tesla's Megafactory facility is tasked with the production of Megapack batteries, the company's flagship energy storage solution. Megapack batteries come in two variants, one that's designed for two-hour durations and another one that's designed for four-hour durations. The two-hour Megapack provides 1,927 kilowatt of power and 3,854 kilowatt hours of energy, while the four-hour Megapack features 979 kilowatt of power and 3,916 kilowatt hours of energy. As could be seen in a recent drone video from avid Tesla watcher on YouTube, a large number of megapacks are currently gathering at the holding areas of the Lathrop Megafactory. During the time of the drone flyover, a total of 193 megapack batteries could be seen on the site. Similar to previous megapack sightings at the Lathrop Megafactory, the battery storage units that were spotted on the site seemed to be ready for export or delivery. This bodes well for the electric vehicle maker this third quarter, as the number of megapacks spotted in the video is worth about $500 million. The Lathrop Megafactory plays a key role in the electric vehicle maker's energy storage business. In a series of posts last December, Tesla noted on its official Twitter account that the Megafactory is capable of producing 10,000 megapack batteries per year. At over $2 million per megapack, a production rate of 10,000 units of the grid-scale batteries could provide Tesla with sales of over $20 billion. Moving to the next update, Tesla Semi spotted transporting the Cybertruck for the first time. When the Tesla Semi was unveiled way back in late 2017, CEO Elon Musk noted that the all-electric Class 8 truck would be used by the EV maker for its own operations. Over the years, Tesla Semi prototypes have been sighted carrying all sorts of cargo, from concrete weights to actual Tesla vehicles that are being delivered to consumers. A recent sighting of a Tesla Semi, however, is a bit more special. As shared on social media platforms such as TikTok and X, a Tesla Semi has been spotted transporting a Tesla Cybertruck on a trailer. Another Tesla Semi was also nearby, though it seemed like it was not pulling a trailer at all. Several interesting things stood out from the recent Tesla Semi and Cybertruck sighting. The Cybertruck's size in particular was noticeable, as it consumed a notable portion of the Semi's trailer. The Cybertruck also had a number of missing trim pieces, from its wheel wells to its rear light bar. Apparent scuffs on the all-electric pickup truck suggested that the Cybertruck was put through some hard testing as well. The deliveries of the Cybertruck are coming, and Tesla is putting in the effort to make sure that the all-electric pickup truck is as ready for real-world use as possible. This is one of the reasons why the Cybertruck is currently undergoing winter testing in New Zealand, and this is perhaps the reason why several units of the all-electric pickup truck that were spotted in the US recently looked like they were tested in muddy areas. The Cybertruck is expected to not feature a single Tesla logo on its exterior, but it is so unique that its presence on public roads alone is already an advertisement for the electric vehicle maker. This was something that was described by Wall Street veteran and the future fund managing partner Gary Black, who noted that the Cybertruck would likely be a rolling billboard of sorts that points consumers to the Tesla brand. Moving to the next update, Tesla shows off its extreme weather testing activities close to the Arctic Circle. Being a Silicon Valley car maker, Tesla is subjected to a number of stereotypes that critics tend to bring up. One of these is the idea that Tesla's vehicles are optimized for California weather only, 
so they must be ill-equipped to handle extreme weather, such as harsh winters. Such an idea is inaccurate. This was highlighted by Tesla in a recently shared video on YouTube. The video is only about three and a half minutes long, but it provided a pretty good glimpse of the company's efforts to make sure its cars could operate well in the cold. Regular winter tests are great, of course, but as per the EV maker in its recent video, it also does extreme cold weather testing. When Tesla does something, the company tends to go all out. This seems to be the case with its extreme cold weather tests as well, as employees featured in the recently shared video noted that Tesla is testing its cars just a couple of kilometers below the Arctic Circle. That's pretty much as cold as one could get, so testing vehicles like the Model Y in the area provides the company with valuable insights about the all-electric crossover's capabilities and performance in extreme cold weather. The Tesla employees featured in the video noted that vehicles used in extreme cold testing sessions are put through scenarios that customers would likely encounter as they use their cars. A lot of work is put into ensuring that Teslas are able to operate in any weather, including extreme cold, so that they can be used reliably anywhere, even in the Arctic Circle. Tesla's winter tests have been catching headlines as of late, since the electric vehicle maker brought over its upcoming pickup truck, the Cybertruck, to the Southern Hemisphere Proving Grounds, SHPG, in New Zealand. Videos and images of the Cybertruck at the site suggested that Tesla's upcoming pickup truck, just like its fellow stablemates, would be pretty capable in extremely cold weather. Moving to the last update, purported Tesla Model 3 Highland interior parts leak online. Several parts from the interior, claimed to be from the Tesla Model 3 Project Highland Refresh, have been leaked online over the last few days, giving us what appears to be the best look yet at some of the changes to coming to the interior of the electric sedan. A close-up picture of the new 18-inch aero wheels has also appeared on the Chinese version of eBay, although those wheels may be a knockoff. The first interior part to be shared online was of the new dash. The photo was initially shared by X user in China. The tweet has since been deleted, apparently at the request of the parts supplier, who asked for it to be removed, but as we all know the internet is forever. In the photo here, the original Model 3 dash is at the bottom, while the new Highland dash is at the top. As noted by former Monroe and Associates president, Corey Steuben points out, the new dash appears to have several more components integrated into a single piece, supporting the theory that Highland is about lower costs through manufacturing efficiencies. This photo also appears to show the new woven fabric material that will be replacing the wood trim that has been in the Model 3 since its inception. Many have been hoping that a driver display will be added to the Model 3 with this redesign, but that does not appear to be the case from this photo. The other part of the interior that has been leaked is the door trim. Again these photos come from the ex-user, and again one of the photos has since been deleted. In the photo on the left, the new door card is at the bottom, and from it we can see a new speaker has been added, as well as what looks like a new fabric on the door card itself. Although it's not easy to see, an ambient lighting strip at the door card has also been added, something which we have previously reported was coming to the Model 3. We get a better view of ambient light strip in the picture on the right, which also shows us a close-up look at the new fabric. Also visible in the photo on the right is the new door button, which more closely resembles the buttons found in the Model S and Model X cars. The final piece that is also leaked is a close-up photo of the new 18-inch aero wheels, although we can't be sure if these are original. As we noted, this photo appeared on Chinese version of eBay, Xianyu. This is definitely the correct design and matches what was seen on an earlier test vehicle in California. However these have a silver finish and the test vehicle had black wheels. As we have previously reported, we have also seen photos of both the new 18-inch and 19-inch wheels for Highland, and those were also finished in matte black, so these could be a knockoff. With all of these leaks occurring now, we should be seeing the final version very soon. Production of the new Model 3 has already started at Giga Shanghai, beginning last week. Tesla will reportedly be alternating between production of the old Model 3 and the new Model 3 
with two days dedicated for each version. This will continue for two weeks, after which the production lines will be entirely switched over to the new version, starting August 14. There has been no word yet on when Fremont will switch over production to the new Model 3, but that will likely happen shortly after Giga Shanghai, as China's design team has been the leader of Project Highland. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.